Hey guys, welcome back to Alan Smasher. Landshot is back about high techness and exploration of space, but finally, it is time to make the ship. This build was definitely not without its problems. Ow. One of them was, of course, the fact that I seem to just keep dying from falling. You might notice that I have got five hearts in my uh, in my heart box. I suppose that's what that, that is called. Uh, and that is all that I have actually got. That is my minimum. The other thing I've got is you might remember last time that we actually lost all the sheep. So I ended up having to be a little bit short on quite a few dies. And if we kind of make our way over this way. Oh, my jetpack has died. That's a little unfortunate, but we can use it to carry on going and chatting. Hey, you're just a normal zombie. Let's let's just take you out quick. Lots of bullets per zombie. I've noticed this. We're going to have to uh, think about how we can. Oh, hello. Uh, how we can get more bullets. Why aren't you dying? There we go. Oh, no. You're going to die or not? Ah, oh, I don't have my jetpack to fly away. I really thought he'd be dead by now. Like, if I was using my sword, he'd be dead by now. Uh, should we just let him dry? I think we're just gonna let him die. No, what? Oh man, that, that was like the most high, high damage taking zombie I've ever, ever encountered. But anyway, I came over here to show you this thing. Uh, people probably know exactly what it is already, uh, but we ran out of light blue wool. You can see over there that we've put quite a bit of it on the back of the spaceship. I kind of like the thruster effect, though I feel like the light blue wool itself needs um, more colour, more variation in it. The same with the thrusters underneath. I feel like they could both use sea lanterns on the back and glowstone underneath, but <laughs> they're expensive. But anyway, going around and using bone meal on the swamp floor and then breaking them is horrendous you get maybe a stack every 20 minutes for doing that but let me show you what this machine is capable of you can just come in here and flick this switch we go for a little bit of laggings but you can see already things are ticking over there and maybe 20 seconds later i turn it off i don't know who how who how who who knows how long that was? Yeah, syllables. They do come out of my mouth occasionally. It is known that words can be formed. But you can see immediately, like 10 seconds later, half a stack. It's just outrageous. But now, I've got a new problem. Uh, the new problem is the fact that I want to move animals and trees and farmland and everything up there. But the animals are the big problem. The animals are the big problem. But if we um, have a quick look, am I safe to have a look in my inventory here? I think we are. If we come over here, uh, I don't know what I was looking at there, but in the cyclic mod, uh, we have something that's actually very good. Uh, it's, it's, it's a little lot of hidden item. There we go. This stirrups mount any entity without the control of a saddle onto your head. Um, no, wait, there was inverse stirrup somewhere. Wait, 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 where is that? That's stirrups. Where's the other one? I thought I'd come somewhere a little bit safer to continue uh, looking through the inventory. Uh, is that the inverted stirrups? There we go. That's what I am after. So it's two bits of leather, some iron, 
Oh man, now this might be a little bit harder. We need two leads. Let's go and have a look and see if we've got a slime ball as we only need the one. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's the inverted stirrups made. I also need to get a little bit of power out of here. Uh, incidentally, since last update, this does not make enough charcoal to turn itself over. So uh, we're going to have to do something about that. You can see I've uh, rearranged everything down here. Uh, that is mainly because I was having a lot of trouble with these pipes uh, loading and unloading, what with forest being just over there, and not actually... Yeah, I'll take something. No, not the whole stack, thank you. I just want a few of them. And not actually uh, passing power, which is a, a great shame. A great, great shame. So we're going to have to work on another power system relatively shortly. Oh, so, so, so shortly. But we're going to go see what we can do about getting uh, some animals up here. I also want to get a few things. Yeah, okay, I got a dozen fence posts. This should work out pretty well for me. Uh, so Forrest, in the interim, went around and grabbed me a couple more sheep because he's just like the best neighbour ever. So that that's pretty cool. Uh, talking of best neighbours ever, whilst working on this ship, uh, I, I fell off a few times. You would have thought with a jetpack I would have been fine, but no, I hit the floor, oh, I'm going to say a half dozen times whilst working on things like the uh, the glass underneath and the the front panels there so uh, a little later on zed tech decided that he was going to drop me some nano armor around which is amazing but i have already broken the boots so that's that's something to be worked on there right we, we want to figure out what's going on with these guys okay can i do that <laughs> uh, we're going to fly away <laughs> to a beautiful beautiful existence on the ship okay it looks like i'm going to be doing this for a little bit guys uh i think that calls for another little time lapse Oh, disappointment, thy name is Replay Mod. Yes, indeed. I would have had a, a time lapse all sorted for you guys, apart from when, you, when we were looking at the replay. I would come along, I would look at a sheep, and then I would walk away. And then suddenly the sheep would disappear and be up here, because for some reason the Replay Mod does not recognise when the sheep gets put on my head. Little disappointing. Little disappointing. But the Ark is starting to come along, not just with the animals down here. Oh, by the way, I'm calling the ship the Ark now. It just makes sense, you know. Uh, but we've now got farm crops and all these other things on this side. I suppose they're still technically farm crops. Two types of a rubber plant over here. We've got spruce and oak. Dark oak and birch. And we're missing acacia and jungle sapling. Now, if we come over here and zoom out a long way, you can see over this way we've got a savanna biome. So we're going to be able to go and get jung uh, sorry acacia saplings over there. But where does the jungle live? I don't know. I reckon it's somewhere down this way, but I am not at all a certain. So I'm going to stop this recording. I'm going to turn on the replay mod, and we're going to go on a little bit of an adventure. So it's not a jungle tree, but it is a jungle thing. I'm not sure if it's the best one I've got. Uh, whoa, whoa, that's that's not the button I meant to press. I meant to press uh, this button here. Okay, so we uh, de degraded all the logs. Are we going to get ourselves... Well, there was 14 of those there. Are we going to get ourselves some leaves, or are these just still actually, uh, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Connected to wood, I suppose, would be the thing. I've never figured out what to do with these nature cords here. But unfortunately, I've gone around and I've broken it all, and that's still not good enough. All right, the search for jungle continues. Uh, Zed does actually... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Maybe we'll come back here. Zed does actually mention that he's not been able to find a jungle on the entire way around here, so maybe that's a thing that's been been done, uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Who, who knows? We will find out.
sunshine. Here we have a beautiful sunrise. Oh, sunrise. Sorry, over my a quandary. Amazing, amazing. I had a few people telling me that a jungle didn't actually exist on that map, on this map, and I was starting to get to the point where I was going to believe them. Oh, there we go. I've got my boat. That's pretty uh, cool. I went searching for roughly an hour and three quarters, give or take. Let's uh, let's have a. Ooh. There's a lot of bad guys around here, but let's let's have a look where I have come from. So over here is home, and then we go down all the way down here. And I started following this coastline around. You can see I found a witch hut down here, went all the way around, up through here. One of my big mistakes was going through this little gap here and going around the entire basin of this ocean. I found nothing. There was no reason to go up there. You can see I even went around this next ocean. Loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff down there. I mean, I did get... Uh, an ice spike biome so that's pretty cool there was another witch hut and stuff like that but finally i have landed on a jungle island so this should be a pretty pretty cool i'm just gonna walk up to this 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 one on the edge this one on the edge that's gonna be a good thing do i have a shear i do not have a shear that's um that's a bad plan actually do you reckon i could quickly uh, rustle up some some good times. I think I might be able to if I find a cave some. Ooh, it's a sheep. That's all right. If I find a cave somewhere, we should be able to. Oh look, one of the things I'm after. Make ourselves some iron. That would be pretty good. It's not as if it's massively beyond the realm of possibility. I've only got a stone pick, but that that is fine. That is fine. Rather than find a cave, I think I'm going to go around and try and. find find myself a little bit of like a, a, an exposed outcropping of iron that would be the best way of doing it best thing about this place look it's right next to a to a, an arctic biome how does that work man that is the ideal area that i need to be it's going to give me all sorts of stuff let's uh, jump back over this way look we've even got some sugar cane that is amazing all right i think i'm just going to admit that i, I don't really care all that much about vines and to be honest we can get them from the swamp from the swamp okay so if i come along here and do one of these biggity bam let's get all this stuff nice 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 i need to move this off of here and use that one okay that's that's pretty cool i don't really care for the melon as i already actually have the vast majority of melons growing so let's try and climb up here if we can get to the top that will be incredibly useful for yeah okay that'll do uh incredibly useful for being able to bring it all down there is a slight problem that i don't know if any of the vines go all the way up though technically we're all the way up here okay this this this, this could be this could be life-threatening let's do it anyway as expected oh yeah okay cool i caught the vine i caught the vine that that was pretty good if i'd actually died all the way out of here that would have been hilarious okay got myself a whole bunch of wood and a third a sapling now it just so happens that um my good my good buddy zed tech uh has got some more saplings for me if i need them he went off to another planet to find one and i was like dude 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 i'm gonna go explore this world uh, oh what do they eat what do they eat? I can't, is, is it coca beans? No, it's not coca beans because you, you, you don't feed. You don't. Oh, hello. Got an actual brown sheep here. You, you don't feed um, chocolate to parrots. That That's a bad, bad, guys. They, they will die. They will die. Another thing, though, I found this lotus seed uh, just out and about in the cold biome. So I think that's pretty good. I'll be growing some of that back at the ark. Okay, three of these. Let's see if I can get me. Oh, uh, man. I, I, I really want both. No, no. No, okay, fine. Well, it looks like we're going to go around and get myself a whole bunch of seeds because am I going to leave here without a parrot? No, not on your Nelly, mate. That does mean... I mean, I was planning to uh, port back so I wouldn't have to, like, do the actual run or anything. Looks like I'm going to have to make the actual boat journey back again. All right, 14 seeds should be enough, I hope, really. Let's, uh, let's try it. No... No, do you just not want to be my friend or something? Let's let's do this. Let's do it. Come on. How many do you want? How many do you want? How many can I give him? Come on. Take it. Take it. Be my friend. Be my friend. Are you someone else's friend? You're not. No. All right, 14 seems to be the magic number when it comes to seed collection. Let's try this again. Give me some hearts. Come on. Be, be happy with me. Be happy. You're, you're not happy. Why are you not happy? There we go. Woohoo. All right, cool. That took an awful lot of seeds there. You coming over to uh, 
Oh, look at this. He's coming over to be my friend. Okay, cool. Can we get you as well? Do you, do you want some seeds? I mean, if you're going to take anywhere near as many as your friend did, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that. Also, let's get some iron. Uh, we'll do that in a second. I need to come back over this way because I found this wide open plain to try and get some seeds from. All right, little green dude, you're going to be... Don't just fly off immediately. Slow down. I know you're following around some other friends. There we go. We've got some friends. All right, awesome. And this is kind of why I like to do these little adventures on my own. Like, I, I do have friends who will quite happily provide me with just about everything I could ever want. There we go. Cool. Let's, uh, let's have a look. But I would not have remembered to ask about these guys. All right, bye. Uh, I would not have... Uh, uh, are they coming back? They are coming back. Yeah, I definitely would not have remembered to, to ask about this, or the coca beans, or anything like that. I wouldn't have known to look for the ice spikes biomes, or uh, even think about witch huts. So, just, just being the person that goes and does it yourself is, is always important. Are you coming or not? I, I really need a better na uh, naming system for you. Can I just pick you up like that? Okay, alright. And we are off! I've got my boat, I've got my parrots, uh, I've got a long time to try and make my way back. Oh, we may have problems. I don't think they're going to get in the boat with me, are they? How about if I try it over here? Okay, so my main thought process here is I went down a level, so they're going <laughs> to... I mean, that's not the worst that could have happened, but it's not useful, is it? It's definitely not useful. Okay, we're going to have to break this boat ideally without hurting those guys. Oh, man. Uh, let's F3 and B. Um, no, I don't want to set a new hitbox thanks and then we do that okay that so that that's a good first start these guys are just gonna muck around in the water hopefully they're gonna come at me are you guys oh you're letting me know about something right should we go over this way man who thought getting parrots back would be a good idea we're just about to run out of uh oh, this, this is bad i mean there's not even like one of them's gonna get in the boat with me is it that that that's the worst thing if one of them would i could just be like hey can i get a get someone to help me here but no but no where are you even going <laughs> so if you're wondering there is a way to fix this let's turn those off there is a way to fix this but i need a friend to keep these guys loaded so i could teleport home uh, and then if these guys are loaded they will attempt to try and teleport to me it works for any pet out there Unfortunately, um, Zed is a little bit AFK at the moment, so uh, I'm kind of just stuck here. Maybe I'll go for a bit of a walk around, but that also sounds incredibly dangerous. Oh man, what an adventure that was. Man, I would like to first give a big shout out to Zed Tech for helping me get home. He gave me a little device here that enables me to put these guys inside this pendulum. I'm afraid that's all the time I've got for today though, ladies and gentlemen. I've got to say a big thank you for joining me for the building of this arc. Again, a big thank you to Zed Tech, Decipher and Forest for helping me out with today. Next time we're going to be getting on with a bunch of power options because obviously last update broke my power systems. But I will see you then. Oh, and we're going to do that. Bye!